In today's tutorial, we are going to create a sci-fi movie with the help of some free AI tools. It will be unlimited free AI tools which I'm going to use and the entire tutorial will be divided into six distinct steps. So make sure you do not skip any of these steps. So if you're ready, let's begin. Step one, creating the story. In order to make a movie, you need to have a solid story. Go to chat.openai.com. The link will be given in the description below. There you'll have to give your prompt. I have given this prompt, create a sci-fi story where an alien spaceship comes to destroy Earth. And this entire story has to be made by 300 words. And then click on this send message option. Once you click, you will get a concrete story. And then my second command was now create image prompt for each scene in the story and likewise I have got eight such scenes and their prompts for creating the image. So now we will go to the next part. My second part is the images. So for that I will be using clip drop stable diffusion 1.0 version. I will simply head over to my scenes and I will copy this first prompt. Then I will I will just paste it. Now I will go to these three dots. Here there are some adjustments which are required to be made. In style, for this particular video, we will be taking cinematic option. Now I have created another video on this software itself, which you will be getting in the description and in the comment section. So there I have shown you how to create Disney style cartoon movie. There the settings are different and entire thing will be different. So according to the prompt, you select your aspect ratio. For me, it will be widescreen. Negative prompts I'm not giving and in version, it will be 1.0 version only. And after that, you go to this generate button. Voila, I have got on a blink, I have got these four versions. I'm going to choose this one. So once I am satisfied with the version, I will just go ahead and download it. And then we will head over to the second prompt. So out of my second prompt, we have got this amazing panda pictures. So whichever you like, you can download same way. And in the same way, we will be creating other images as well. Let us move, move to the next step where we will be animating all these images to a video. For that, we will go to pika.art, this website. Uh, I'll give the link in the description. Now, you will have to go to join beta. Once you go to join beta, it will ask, ask you to accept the invitation. So, accept the invite. Once you are led to Discord server, you will be having this pika this option here and you will have to join in any of these generate room so i will be taking you can take any one then in the prompt box you'll have to give forward slash and create and then you will have to go to this plus icon this plus icon here you'll have to go to this image option and you'll have to simply drag and drop your images so i'll be taking the first image and then you cannot keep the prompt section blank Therefore, you'll have to give a prompt here. So I will give moving spaceship, highly detailed, hyper GS5 and hyper motion 2. Why I have given these two aspects that I'll reveal towards the end because these make a lot of sense in this prompt in specifically Pika Lab and then enter. It'll take a while. It'll give the video in this highlighted box so it has already created my video so i'll simply go to this download button download it from here if you don't like it you can again regenerate by clicking on this regenerate button so i somehow like it so i will just download it now before i go to second prompt let me tell you what is the what is the functionality of hyper gs5 and hyper motion 2 hyper gs is basically having a value from 1 to 100 it makes sure the main subject of your video is moving faster moving more okay so i will simply copy this prompt and i will do once again with some different value then you will understand i will upload another video i will give the same prompt just i will change this to 15 and now i will simply enter and just wait and see how the 
this prompt changes i have just created the prompt with ga hyper gs 15 previously i gave 5 this is this time i have given 15 now you can see this person and this spaceship is moving much more right after the prompt has been changed so that is because I have given GS hyper GS 15 when you will be increasing the value of hyper GS your main subject will tend to move more. Now hyper motion is just opposite when your background is moving more if you want your background to move a lot then you should be increasing the value of hyper motion. The hyper motion is having a value from 1 to 4 okay so you can experiment as per your requirement um, but i am pretty uh, okay with this so i'll simply download this likewise you can generate n number of videos from here but the video length is of three seconds so in the next part i'm going to show you how you can increase the video length for free so just make sure you stick to me till the end of this video and for now let's move forward to the next step now let us move forward creating the voiceover well i want this to be my background voiceover therefore i will just copy the entire script all together now we will head over to 11labs.io i will be giving the link in the description this is a free software but i would suggest you to sign up so that you can get the number of word limits more than 7000 so i will just paste it here i need a male voice so you can check there are different male voices i will take this one and you can go to generate option so once it is ready you can play by this play button you have to go to the button right hand side corner in the download button and download the entire audio so our step two of creating voiceover is over now we are done with our videos. Now we will curating all these together to create our final project. So for that, today I'm going to use Filmora 12. You will be getting 30 days free trial with all pro assets of Filmora. The link will be given in the description box below. You can cancel anytime the subscription within the 30 days. Though nothing will be charged to you. You may use any other video editing software any software will do the same work but for this video i am using filmora so you will have to select the aspect ratio from here and you you just go to new project option go to import option and media folder i'm just going to take the entire folder so once you select the folder all the videos will reach here come here okay you can take all all of them together like this it will come you may or may not change FPS so I don't want to change it so I'll just cross it now you'll have to select each clip from here right click and show speed control or speed ramping okay now here we will have to go to this uniform speed and we'll have to reduce the speed in order to increase the length same way we will have to just select it and select the next next video and reduce the speed likewise i will do the same process for all the videos unless my each clip is getting little longer another way is you can just keep this reverse speed toggle on so that the video starts from the end so it will kind of seem to be continuation so i will just play this from here okay this is my first clip and then from here again this is starting so it will look that it is the continuation of the same video yet you are not compromising on the quality of the video okay so this is how you can use it now one more thing if you want to get rid of the um, this this part then you can select one video go to this crop option and you can crop it from the bottom like this and then apply okay likewise you can just check here how is it looking it's the bottom part is gone so likewise you can do uh, for every video now let us move to the next part where i'll be giving some transition in between two clips so you can scale up and down from this uh, this uh, doggle here we will go to this from left hand side fifth option where we will be getting some cool transitions out of that i will go to this free transitions 
only free transitions will appear here and you can choose any of the transitions for this for the sake of this video i'm just choosing this one if you if you want to download any particular transition then go to this download button and it will get downloaded then you can just click on this plus icon to add it now you will have to just drag and drop it here likewise you can drag other transitions also like likewise you'll have to drag all the transitions in between two clips so once it is done then next is giving some effect now you may give some effects here you get effect right after in the right hand side of the transition option here you get different cool effects see here there are a cool effect so i like this fire effect a lot many of you have requested me how have you given the fire effect so i am just going to drag and drop it on the upper layer why have i given it on the upper layer because i have a better control i can just select this and i can get all the control in the right hand side the duration and the opacity everything next is i can get other uh, nice um, effects as well likewise you can add different types of effects now we will go to media bin and the audio i'll have to import so i'll go to this import option now i'll go to import media files and i will import my audio from my respective folder it will be here in the in the gallery i'll just drag and drop it in the uh, audio section now next is we are going to give some beautiful uh, energetic soundtrack at the back end okay so for that we are uh, assuming that we will be using this video for youtube therefore we will head over to youtube studio in the left hand side panel we will go to audio library and from here we will have to give like as per mood we will take a dramatic happy bright these things you can tick and again apply okay and then you can just play the audio whichever you like you can go to this download button to download it so once you add the audio go to this top left hand side corner and add one audio track down the previous audio track now i'll have to simply drag and drop it here now if the audio track is little longer then right click on that audio track go to split just select the extra part and delete it now a few of the adjustments since we have one audio as well as the voiceover we will have to reduce the volume okay now i'll have to check till which which level is you want to reduce then i'll give some fade in and fade out it looks to seems to be good then we will just go to this export button we will just give it a name and simply export you don't have to change anything out here it just can export from here now once our video is exported and it's ready we are at the last stage where we are going to create the subtitle for this movie therefore we will go to vid.io and then go to create project option i'll be giving the link of this software in the description now once you're in the um, dashboard of in video you'll have to go to upload option and you'll have to take the video which you have just downloaded okay my video is open now i'll go to subtitle option here there are two types of subtitle we will go to auto subtitle here you can choose the language in which the video is made for me it is english only and then create subtitle well i have got my site subtitle ready now we will go to the style option here we will get a number of styles you can just check you can get word by word you can get pop up type of you can go for this word by word thing also so i take this karaoke one once it is done then go come downwards here you can choose the font you can change the pixel from here you can change the color and i will just give a background so i'll go to shadow and i'll give a black background there is one more thing you can go for animation uh, option and you can give different types of am animation once it is done so you are satisfied go to this done option here you will have to go to export video option before exporting you will definitely have to sign up since i have already signed up it is not asking me to sign up once it is done you can go to this download option and you can download in mp4 format I have taken some inspiration from 
from Randy Harrison. He is one of the best prompt to image generator. With that, this is the final result. In the year 2147, an ominous shadow cast itself over Earth as an alien warship. The Malevolix descended from the cosmos with devastating intent. Its arrival sent waves of panic across the planet, yet amidst the chaos, an unlikely trio emerged to defend their home. In the heart of a dense, ancient forest, a wise old panda named Mei Lin sensed the impending danger. Drawing from her ancient martial arts knowledge, she harnessed the power of Qi to become a formidable warrior. With calculated precision, she employed her bamboo staff, striking the Malevolix's mechanical soldiers with unmatched grace, slowing their advance. Beside Mei Lin stood Raja, a Bengal tiger with gleaming emerald eyes. His agility and strength were legendary, and he pounced upon the enemy, using the cover of the foliage to strike and retreat. His mighty roars reverberated through the forest, sending shockwaves that disrupted the alien's technology, buying precious time. A clever chipmunk named Spark completed the trio. With nimble acrobatics and a keen mind, he navigated... If you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like one small request please do share my content with your friends and family so that i can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe and stay legendary